All right, well, thank you uh, for listening back to the foot and ankle orthopedic surgeon. Today, we're going to go through whether a subtalar fusion is the same as a, an ankle fusion or whether subtalar fusion is a type of ankle fusion. We're going to answer that question for you today. So to go through that, we're going to show you, I'm um, going to mark the anatomy out here to begin with. So we're going to mark the tibia. This is looking at your ankle from the side. Your tibia is otherwise known as your shin bone. The bone below that is known as the talus. It looks a bit like a peanut. And then below that is your heel bone, otherwise known as the calcaneus. So the calcaneus is what the Achilles tendon inserts on, that's that yellow uh, blob there. And then we're going to mark you where, where the actual ankle joint is. So it's between the talus and the tibia. And the subtalar joint is actually an area below the ankle joint between the talus and calcaneus. So that's what we're going to talk about in regards to a subtalar fusion. So you can see it's a different joint to the ankle. So essentially an ankle fusion is not the same as a subtalar fusion. Now this is your ankle from the front with those bones drawn from the front. We're going to mark here, that's the ankle joint. And then we're going to mark the subtalar joint just below there so you know exactly where it sits. It's just below the heel. And the way to think of it is it's, if you think of a submarine, submarine um, is below the water. Well, your subtalar joint is below the talus, which we're just going to mark out as, a, as the bone here. So the talus is the, the bottom uh, bone of your ankle joint and the subtalar joint exists just below that. And that's the joint that will be fused in a subtalar fusion. Now, a fusion means turning two or more bones into one bone, so there's not a joint there anymore that moves. And in terms of an ankle joint, we're going to draw what your bones look like in the ankle on the side there, what they look like. And then we're going to draw what it looks like with a fusion. So in a fusion there, you can see the talus and the tibia are now one bone rather than there being, than there being a gap there. So that's what an ankle fusion looks like from the side in terms of how the bones will look once the, um, the joint has been turned, two bones have been turned into one. Um, and what your ankle does in terms of movement, it moves your foot up and down. Up movement there on the left called dorsiflexion and down movement there called plantar flexion. And it all occurs around the area that the arrow is pointing there on the diagram, so at the ankle joint. Now in a subtalar fusion, different bones are fused. So the talus and the calcaneus, so your heel bone and the bone just below your ankle joint, known as the talus, are fused. So you can see here that those two bones there are now fused. And it's a different spot to the ankle joint, so that's what your subtalar fusion will look like on an x-ray from the side. And in terms of what the subtalar movement does, it just does movement of your heel. So that's eversion, so it does roughly about you know, 20, 10, 20 degrees of eversion, and does inversion, about 30 to 40 degrees of inversion, so moving the heel inwards. So subtalar movement is related to moving the heel rather than the ankle. And this is what a subtalar fusion will look like on an x-ray. We put some screws um, across the joint, whereas an ankle fusion is further up. It's above the level of uh, what we call a subtalar fusion. So I hope you uh, you like this video. Please tune into some of our, more, our other videos just here on the left here, or subscribe to the Foot and Ankle Orthopedic Surgeon. If you've got any videos you'd like to see, please write in uh, or send us a message. And thank you once again for, uh, for listening to us. We really appreciate it.